at Gillian's Wonderland here. They have a they have a classic style dark ride. They have a nice looking log flume. They have this animatronic band that I want to check out. It's up there. I can see it up there. And I think the dark ride's over this way. This way, I think. We have to get tickets though. They used to have another coaster here, but I think that's gone, so I think it's just the kitty coaster now. Steaming though. It goes through like a fiberglass mountain. There's like little elephants.
city of Ocean City, New Jersey. It's a big place. <laughs> no, you're gonna get. I'm the one who's gonna get wet, not you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get soaked. I think. <laughs> this is pretty high, isn't it? Wow. Here we go. Look at the ocean over there. Here we go. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. It got off the flume ride. I thought that was really good. Really good drop on it. And really good theming at the beginning. One of the better log flumes I've done, actually. These look like really good bumper cars, but they're not running right now. It looks like that upper deck section of the park is closed. park has this old monorail thing called the Frontier Express that goes all around the park. This is the only Bill operated <laughs> animatronic band I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these are repurposed uh, Chuck E. Cheese. And that thing over there, I recognize this because a uh, carpetbagger went to the guy's house who owns one of the original ones of these. It's like an Elvis. He's supposed to be like an Elvis impersonator, but they turned it into a like Western country band or something. <laughs> Getting ready to ride the Frontier Express <laughs> monorail. This is a historic ride. I'm pretty sure this is from the 50s. From when the park opened. Kind of seems a little unstable on the track, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like the way it was sitting back in the station, it was like... It was like to the side, <laughs> right? There's the antique carousel. I'm pretty sure that's a 1926 Allen or Herschel Spellman. That's a pretty nice carousel. The horses don't look that old though. Like maybe they're just like repainted a lot of times. But the rest of it, you can tell it's really old. Uh -huh. I'm a man. Oh, down there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to check that out then. It's okay. Music Express, classic, and the Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Frisbee. Yeah, it looks like this upper section of the park is not running. I guess it's just this one. Oh yeah, there's the dark ride over there. That's our favorite thing here. The main reason we came, actually. <laughs> That's a Christian ride, huh? That's wild. Huh. Interesting. Look at the drop on this thing. Yeah. Is that insane? I did it. There's only one drop, but look how big it is. I did a big drop. 
Yeah, I'm glad we did this because I'm getting good shots up here. Look at this stuff in the windows there. There's the Ferris wheel, big Ferris wheel. Some weird little creatures up there on a building. There's not like people tripping and falling coming down this thing. I should just put steps here. <laughs> Let's go see these monkeys. They have another bill operated animatronic thing. These are monkeys. sound I was expecting there to be music right <laughs> that one's not even working <laughs> well they need to refurbish this one <laughs> looks like they have a bunch of uh, ride vehicles just sitting over here from past rides there's like a pirates in a ship I don't know if that was from the log flume or something and then there's like a, a spaceman over here
walked on that one and I gotta walk all the way back to the car. <laughs> well, that's part of it, you know, like you're, you come to these parks and you get on the water rides, you know what to expect. And if you gotta walk a good ways afterwards, you better be ready for your feet to be hurting. And <laughs> but I yeah, asked, really good log flume. This is a really good park. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Trimpers at Ocean City, Maryland, but I think they have quite a few more rides here. And better quality ones too, for the most part. Yeah, that was really good. This is a really good time here at Ocean City, New Jersey. I would definitely come back here. Uh, I would definitely come back here because it's not that far from where we live. And, uh, the dark ride alone is really good. I would come back here just for that. And you gotta love all these classic rides and these classic spinning letters out here in the entrance. I just love this entrance. This entrance is like something that hasn't been changed in so long. Just look at those spinning letters. That was Gillian's Wonderland. Really nice museums here at Ocean City, New Jersey. It's one of those bucket list parks that I've always wanted to go to since I was a kid, and now I finally got to come here. For whatever reason, my family never took us here. We went to Wildwood and we've gone to Seaside Lakes and a bunch of other Jersey Shore beaches, but for whatever reason, we never came to this one, even though this is definitely the best one I've been to. And they have the best amusement parks. Like, this is the, one of the better amusement piers I've been to. Yeah, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, like and subscribe, because I have a whole bunch of vlogs and all kinds of stuff from different uh, flash amusement parks. I don't really do the, like, theme parks and uh, Six Flags and that kind of stuff. I'm more into the classic vintage amusement parks and old roadside attractions and stuff like that. So if that's your kind of thing, then you'll definitely like the channel. And I also have a new docu-series. It's actually in the second season now. Uh, it covers all kinds of closed attractions and amusement parks from the past. And just like, because I just love this kind of stuff. And this kind of stuff is like disappearing from American culture, even though like it's a huge part of American culture. It's extremely underappreciated, I think. And it, people don't start showing some enthusiasm for this kind of stuff that might not ever be preserved for the future. I mean, there's really not even that much stuff left as it is, so we have to preserve this stuff while it's still here.